from George Stephanopoulos and Good Morning America. Former President Trump refuses to commit to accepting 2024 election results. So that's basically you saying, well, we cheated before and we're going to cheat again. And are you going to bow to our demands? My name's Eric. This channel is called Report and Opine. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm absolutely begging you. I'm begging you, please. Come on, please. It helps me a lot and it costs you nothing. The algorithm is an absolute monster. And if you want to help me even more and spend a little bit of money, of course, you can go ahead and buy my book, New York City 2020 Gotham Unglued on Amazon.com. That link will be in the description. And for anybody who is still unclear, George Stephanopoulos is at the top of the totem pole as far as the corruption is concerned, right? He worked in the Clinton White House as a fixer. He donated to the foundation, didn't disclose it to his audience, and then was forced to apologize. He admitted that he donated $75,000 to the Clinton Foundation and failed to disclose it even as he reported on the controversies surrounding the foundation. But I should have made additional disclosures on air when we covered the foundation. And I now believe that directing personal donations to that foundation was a mistake. Even though I made them strictly support work done to stop the spread of AIDS, help children, and protect the environment in poor countries, I should have gone the extra mile to avoid even the appearance of a conflict. I apologize to all of you for failing to do that. He lambasted Nancy Mace about, well, you know, you were assaulted as a little girl, so how dare you support Donald Trump? I mean, if anybody is still taking this seriously, they certainly need to have their head, their head inspected. And this top comment here, who is quite clearly, I mean, controlled by some evil force, says a total embarrassment to America. He is the reason for Jane. Bro, you, I mean, there comes a point where you have to eventually say, wait a minute, what the hell's going on here? But they just don't, right? Because of people like lizard man George Stephanopoulos, who will stop at nothing to make sure that the Democrats, quote unquote, win. And it's not even, rem this is, ABC News. This isn't MSNBC. This isn't CNN. This isn't the Young Turks. This man is one of the leaders of the news organization ABC, who of course have the weird Disney Epstein connection and all of the agenda driven local reporters that are completely despicable. I mean, I'm quite literally right. Like luring. Okay. Maybe not luring kids in, but posting a whole bunch of Disney stuff. I work for Disney. And it's all LGBTQ propaganda in June. They spend more than the entire month promote. So in May, oh, oh, it's coming up. And then in June, they put dozens of posts every day about how Pride Week is here. And then they look back at it in July. But that's a completely different story. Now he wants you to know that, you know, we are probably going to try to pull one over and Donald Trump is not going to accept it. Now, Donald Trump repeating lies about the 2020 election and refusing to commit to accept the results if he loses again in 2024. Chief Washington Correspondent John Carl has the story. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. And a reminder of what happened in 2020, Donald Trump is once again refusing to say whether he will accept the results of the president. He is refusing to bow to our demands. That's what's happening. Central election, and he is suggesting there could be violence if he loses. Donald Trump is making it clear he is only ready to accept the results of the election if he likes them, telling the Milwaukee Journal, quote, if everything's honest, I'll gladly accept the results. So they just, so the headline has just been disproven. If everything is honest, I'll gladly accept the results. So is that you admitting that you plan to make sure that the results are not honest? Well, he's not going to accept it. There's going to be violence. And then it quite literally says, if everything's honest, I'll gladly accept the results. Uh, were you under the impression that nobody was going to watch this? Right? Even as hard as they try to use this false framing and make sure that you think he's evil, but it's all gone, right? I mean, I wish for one split second I could just get in a room with George Stephanopoulos, right? I mean, no, no just, just an interview because this guy has spent years going to bat for the Democrat establishment and now is on ABC pretending that he's a neutral arbiter of the news. It just can't be. And for you to blatantly do a 180 from the headline, he's not going to uh, commit to accepting the results, but then I'll gladly accept the results if it's honest, which we got, which we know you guys cannot be. 
facts. I don't change on that. If it's not, you have to fight for the right of the country. In another recent interview, Trump dismissed the threat of violence by his supporters, saying, quote, I think we're going to have a big victory, and I think there will be no violence. What a, okay, yeah, that's true. But they really are trying to memory hole the summer of love? I mean, we're living through violence right now all over college campuses. But you're more worried about Donald Trump, right? People are getting slashed in the trains, pushed on the tracks, subway surfing. It's absolute chaos. Jewelry store robberies in Oakland. But it's more important that we get orange man bad. What? He suggested the lack of violence depends on who wins. I don't think we're going to have that. I think we're going to win. But why don't, you, why don't you play the audio of him saying it? Right. And they, they try to do this like they read his words and try to make it a little bit more menacing. This is crazy. He added, and if we don't win, you know, it depends. It always depends on the fairness of an election. And in a speech overnight in Michigan, Trump recounted how he did, in fact, ask the Secret Service to take him to the Capitol on January 6th. In an interview not long after the attack on the Capitol, Trump told me that if he had gone during the riot, he would have been well received. I was thinking about going back during the problem to stop the problem, doing it myself. Secret Service didn't like that idea too much. So, so what, I could have so, done that, and you know what? I would have been very well received. Trump's comments about the possibility of violence echo something that his former chief strategist Steve Bannon told me as Trump was preparing for this presidential run. I asked Bannon if he was worried about violence and he told me no because we're going to win. George? Wait, John, just to underscore, this is not an isolated incident. Yeah, but the violence, I mean, look, bro, George Stephanopoulos and his weird little butt buddy here, his sidekick, they could talk about violence all they want, but we all see it. We all can see the violence coming 99% from the left. I, I, I want to be clear in how I characterize this. This is a, mostly a protest. Uh, it, is not, uh, it is not, generally speaking, unruly. But fires have been started. I mean, it just, it, it just is what it is. And I guess they think if they, just, they don't cover it, then it doesn't exist. This is a constant on the campaign trail for Donald Trump right uh, it, now. Uh, absolutely, uh, not, he has... Look, look, Stephanopoulos is not even pretending, right? Like, so, under the guise of ABC News, right, they pretend to be actual reporters of the news, but Stephanopoulos isn't even trying, right? Even CNN kind of tries to pretend to be neutral. And that weirdo Caitlin Collins did a complete 180 after I guess the Brinks truck backed up to her house. But well, this is a no, this is regular on the campaign. Are you kidding me, bro? And you want to talk about Nancy Mays and Brett Kavanaugh and all this stuff when you were literally going to bat for Predator Bill Clinton? How how I'm how is this happening? I'm freaking out here. You do not get a platform. You do not get anything. Just go away. Leave us alone. You know, like, bro, get a regular job. Go work at a subway. Or go work, go, go push papers around. Because your weird political uh, euphemisms and your dystopian Democrat doublespeak, it's all over. We can see through it. But I, I think I do remain hopeful that the turns are tabling. Well, well, well. How the turntables repeatedly refused to say that he would accept the results and there's always this possibility of violence that floats in the background of what he is saying john carl thanks very much oh yeah there's, there's always going to be violent oh, name one they keep going back they go back time and time again to january 6 and completely memory hole the time that weirdo activists uh made trump go to the bunker they completely memory hole the wild protest of BLM they memory hole all that and this guy who wants you to take him seriously he's actually a lizard person I can't see anything else I want you to know that Donald Trump is not going to accept the results because they won't be honest the first Donald Trump quote they use debunks their own title and basically has them admitting that we are going to try to pull one over on you and we're going to get exponentially angry if you don't obey that. And look at some of these comments. I don't know if they're bots or they're people that actually believe this 
They spent the last decade listening to people like George Stephanopoulos and have no hope of ever breaking out of this weird brainwashing phenomenon. Does anyone remember that he said he would march to the Capitol with his MAGA supporters but didn't? He sat and watched with glee for hours while begging, while being begged to tell that mob to stop, never forget that day. The sad truth is this is America and this is the best we can do. He needs to go away. He Next, he will be telling people he changed water into wine. Vote blue. Biden has accomplished a lot for the country. Trump is so unfit for office that even his former VP, chief of staff and secretary of defense don't support him. Who cares? Biden and Harris 2024. Vote blue all the way down the ticket. He's a bully. It's a bully campaign based on threats. If I don't win, he should be in jail for what? Satan in the flesh? He's getting ready to lose and he knows it? What planet are these people on? Okay, here's one. Trump 2024. Media at it again, changing the narrative. They pull little pieces of what he says to create their own story. Yeah, so there is some sanity here. And what's really strange is that people in this comment section seem to love Bo Jiden, but if you go to Bo Jiden's Instagram or Kamalto Harris's Instagram, you will see thousands of comments of people who are totally critical of that regime. So I'm not sure where the disconnect is, but we do know that it's much easier to trick somebody, to fool somebody, than to convince them that they have been tricked.